He's not fooling the American people. But the more important thing is he's not fooling anybody abroad. And right now, America as a country looks tremendously weakened. Well, it's one of the reasons that you had such a big showing from the black community for President Trump in election 2020. Let me get your take on where you think the community is today under Biden policies and whether or not you see uh, support there from the minorities and the uh, black American community. If you ever want to check the temperature of how the minorities are doing and, and what uh, party they're treading towards, you need but read the mainstream, the na mainstream media narrative, uh, which is already castigating Hispanic men, black men, and trying to come up with reasons why they're, why they're starting to uh, vote more conservatively. Um, they did this right after the election. I remember reading a piece in Yahoo News uh, where they were talking about black American men and why, why they're breaking from a Democrat party and making it seem as if it's uh, because a lot of them uh, aren't good people. We saw this recently in the New York Times piece. Talking about Hispanic men, saying that they fell, they fell for QAnon conspiracy theories. Uh, so they're realizing that they are losing minority voters, and it's because of their policies, and it's also because they don't feel that they have a, a leader. Uh, they're looking at Joe Biden; he is not a leader. They're looking at these Democrat policies; they are not helping them. You know, when you say let's just make the borders porous and you pretend that it's not happening, as you covered uh, in, in a couple a couple of segments ago, is that going to help Black Americans and when they have to compete with illegals for jobs? Absolutely not. Uh, so all. Of this makes sense to us. It doesn't make sense to people on the left as to why minorities are breaking. Calling everybody a racist and a white supremacist, it's getting pretty old. It's getting pretty old. You have to deliver and you have to make their communities better, which Democrats are not doing. Well, it's getting old, but there's a resurgence of it in schools. I want to take a break and then come back and talk about your take on the critical race theory being added to so many school curriculums and why learning through the lens of race contradicts everything America stands for. We're with Candace Owens this morning, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. I'm back with author Candace Owens. And Candace, I want to talk to you about what's going on in our curriculums in schools these days. A friend of mine sent me uh, a piece from her son's seventh grade class where they're saying, if you identify as white, come to a meeting because we want to make sure you uh, can thrive and strive not to be a racist. They're assuming every kid is a racist, Candace. Absolutely. And I know that Megyn Kelly pulled out her, her children from school for similar reasons. And this is a big topic that I cover extensively. I truly believe that it's time for us to pull our kids out of school. And I know people say, oh, well, not all of us can afford to do that. This is The country wasn't built um, on people having a lot of money when they were homeschooling. Um, and, and we're starting to see this more and more. It's indoctrination that's happening. They're, they're trying to fuel uh, race issues in this country. They're trying to teach this Marxist ideology. And the bad thing is here, Maria, they're replacing uh, hard academics. These kids are not learning science, not learning mathematics, they're learning how to hate white people, they're learning how to hate their country. Um, and this is problematic for the future. What they're trying to do is guarantee that they have an ignorant group of people that vote based on emotion. This is a Democrat long-term strategy, and it's finally coming into fruition. This has got to stop. They're also dividing us with this H.R. 1, saying that H.R. 1 is the answer for minorities to vote. I'm so tired of black Americans, Hispanic Americans being used to further the Democrat, Democrat uh, power uh, and, and everything that the Democrats want to do. And we've seen this time and time again. And it's always a game of linguistics. They tell you that it's going to help you, right? Voter, it's, it's to combat voter suppression. Well, votes are not being suppressed. This is what the left always does. They make it sound good when, in fact, they're actually after the exact opposite. When I hear them saying that they're trying to combat voter suppression, I almost know, I always know that what they're actually after is suppressing votes themselves and making sure that they stay in power. H.R. 1 is extremely, extremely dangerous, and we need to make sure that we are trying to combat it and fight it every single manner that we can. How do we stop this, Candace? Real quick, you say take the kids out of school. How do you ensure that the curriculum is not biased the way it is right now? It is biased. It is 100 percent biased. Quite frankly, I think parents need to start yeah. suing schools. They will win if they start suing schools for this sort of stuff because it is okay. blatant discrimination. Candace, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks so much, Candace Owens. That does it for Sunday Morning Futures. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Maria Bartiromo, wishing all of you a happy Easter. For more, you can catch us once again today at 3 p.m. Eastern here on Fox.